Have you watched a movie The Mummy? It's very interesting movie. But do you know why a mummy is preserved and all other such questions related to mummification? Then watch this video till the end. So let's take a deep dive. The first question arises is what is a mummy? A mummy is a dead body that is preserved either naturally or by chemicals. It was very popular in Egypt country and this process of preserving a dead body is known as mummification. Now, I am sure you might be thinking why these dead bodies were preserved. Was it helpful for Egyptians? Well, the answer is very very simple. The people of Egypt at that time used to believe in life after death. So they used to believe that this body would have importance even after death. That is why they prepared dead body by mummification. The Egyptians believed that when their king's people died, they would become gods. The Egyptians worshipped these gods and looked to them for help and guidance. The Egyptians also believed that the mummified body was the home for this soul or spirit. If the body was destroyed, the spirit might be lost. The Egyptians believed that the souls of those dead people only become gods in the afterlife if they were prepared to do so. They used to place the mummies in very special burial sites called tombs. Now you might be thinking about a person who used to do this whole process of mummification. Well, the person is known as embalmer. Now the question arises how embalmer made mummies. The mummification process took 70 days. Isn't that interesting? The first step in the process was the removal of all internal parts that might decay rapidly. But left the heart in its place. This is because the Egyptians believed that the heart was the center of the body. The embalmer used a large hook which he inserted up the nose to remove the brain. Each organ was then washed, dried and placed in its own separate container called a canopic jar. The mummy body was then washed and covered in salt and then left that way for a little more than a month. The salt dried out the body and preserved it. The embalmer then rubbed oils on the body and wrapped it in clothes. The priests carefully wound the long strips of linen around the body and sometimes even wrapping each finger and toe separately. That special box in which mummy placed was equipped with furniture, sceneries, list of food items, believing that this would become reality in later life. Now comes the very important question and that is who was mummified? Rich people who could afford this mummification process such as kings, officials were mummified. For religious reasons, some animals such as cats, birds and crocodiles were also mummified. Now it's very clear that the mummies were put in pyramids. But do you know despite the scorching heat that can be often felt in Egypt, the temperature inside the pyramids remains a constant and that is 20 degrees Celsius, the average temperature on earth. How the study of mummies today help the researchers? The development of X-rays now makes it possible to X-ray mummies without destroying the outer white wrappings. By studying the X-rays, experts are learning more about diseases suffered by the Egyptians and their medical treatment. A better idea of average height and lifespan comes from studying.